Okay, so this is really, really interesting. This is today, um, 26th of October, 2020. This is Bicycle Market Australia. Uh, an advert here for the Tarmac SL7. So promising advert there, talking about how good cycling tips that it was. Brand new, brand new, never been built up, never been ridden. Got the stem, the works, all right? So it's the... The S Works SL7. This price is Australian dollars, six thousand nine hundred Australian dollars for brand new, brand new, delivered by Specialized Australia, sold by Craig at Bike Society Adelaide, supplied by. Uh, fantastic uh, price here. So let's have a look at the questions here. So, own a piece of history. Um, never know could be the next world champion. Someone says. So this this is what. You know, if you're going to sell an SL7, you're going to be like, you know, this is the sort of people that who are going to comment on your video and your ad. And that's, that's Facebook. People, you know, they're entitled to their opinion. Um, so, the, surely the flex in the carbon frame's a problem. So, people are saying now this frame is too much flex in it. Did it pass the squeeze test? Um, discount etc strong as blah 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 has this frame been compromised by squeeze testing so there you go so i mean you know gc performance you know myself been squeezing bikes does it compromise the performance the integrity i mean you know who knows who knows i mean lucia technic said it potentially could and he's a very well respected carbon expert uh ronald kuba says it's not possible to flex uh, S-Works frame. I think GC as well. I think he did the squeeze. I, I can't remember. Did it squeeze in or not? So, you know. But the squeeze test now seems to be a common knowledge. So when you walk into an S-Specialized deal and get your S-Works SL7, has someone squeezed it? You don't know. I mean, the mechanic maybe squeezed it or the bike attendant squeezed it or the customer squeezes it. People are like, oh, there's S-Works. Does it squeeze? So how do you know... If you walk into a bike shop, if your S works tarmac SL7 has been squeezed or not, you know maybe Specialized can put like a little, a little, uh, you know, like a little seal on there. So if it gets squeezed, the seal's broken. So you know, so if you own an SL7, has it been squeezed by the mechanic? Are you working on your bike all the time? You know, it's like so many squeezes. Your kids, is your kid squeezing it? Is your cat squeezing it? Is your dog squeezing it? You know, got some more replies here. Athos, is, this guy's confusing. Adrian Pipe is confusing the tarmac for an Athos. <laughs> Greg Fisher chimes in. Wouldn't buy after carbon experts said do not constantly flex. The, do not flex the frame by pushing the tube against the tube strength direction. So it's just, yeah, I mean, so you've got a lot of, like, different opinions, and everyone's entitled to their opinion. Uh, but that's the sort of, that's the sort of deal that, you know, the controversy that the SL7 in my experience, is creating here, and, you know, I've shared my opinions on the bike, and how, it, you know, it's very, very soft, and, because I was thinking, why is the SL7 so, so flexy, my S work, my S works, my, you yeah, know, why is it so flexy under power, I mean, I'm on steroids, I'm only 80 kilos, and I'm strong, but I'm not, you know, I'm not like a mutant, but I'm making it flex noticeably too much for a tarmac, I think, is this a tarmac, it doesn't feel like, normally tarmac's like stiff, stiff as, um, now, if you if, if the SL7 is the first S works, because the S works frame's lighter, I'm assuming it's lighter than the the, the peasant one, the cheap S, SL7. So if it's gonna be lighter, obviously it's gonna be have more be more flex in there, a bit more compliance to be built in. The people, some people say so, but it doesn't feel like my S works SL4 or my SL2 I recently sold to a friend Nick. That was way stiffer, and my my SL2 S works as well. That feels very much much stiffer than the SL7 S works. Again, so that's just the comments. Um, I mean, this was posted... When was this posted? It's an advert 41 minutes ago. And it's already, like, the laughing faces. Let's have a look at sort of faces we've got here. So, 10 laughing faces. We've got four thumbs up and one like, oh. So, you know, we like 10. What's this going to be like in 24 hours? So, get on Facebook Marketplace, Bicycle Market in Sydney. Uh, is that Bicycle Market Sydney? I think it's Bicycle Market Sydney. And... Uh, yeah, but it's a bicycle market Australian. So the rules are don't be a deke, you know, not be tolerated, blah, 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 harassment, etc. So be nice in the comments, people. But go check it out. Go check it out. Have a read of the comments. Have you enjoyed a bit of the banter. And uh, that's really, uh, really interesting stuff. Anyway, that's the video. Let me know down below. You know, so the, literally it's almost, 
in Australia, the price of the SOX Tarmac right now is 8,000. Hey, let me, just, let me just pause this video. Let me find out the exact price right now. Current market value, brand new. Uh, I shouldn't say market value, I should say the uh, recommended retail price. Let's find out quickly. Okay, so this is the current models. I'm not sure they're in stock yet. The old, the old ones are sold out. This is, you know, I think even these are probably sold out as well. Let's have a find out. Um, it doesn't really look like they've got any stock. Wow, they're sold out. Sold out. Damn. So there's no 56 in Australia based on the website. Maybe there's, you know, like, that's crazy. Yeah, so this is $8,700 Australian. This one on Facebook, the bicycle market is for six nine. So that's, so that's $1,700 Australian off of a brand new thing. I went out today and bought a brand new 16-inch MacBook for a giveaway and... You know, so that was four thousand five hundred. No, sorry, about five thousand dollars ish. So imagine if I dropped off like twenty percent, like a four thousand bucks, and tried to sell, I'd sell it like that. If brand new in the box, never ridden, never used. Imagine that. I mean, I, I would go and buy if I could save a twenty percent off something. Why wouldn't I buy that? So, you know, um, if you bought an iPhone thirteen just last week and then you sold it, a brand new in box, twenty percent off, it's going to sell with like an hour. So this S works. We've been trying to sell it for like weeks and weeks and weeks. It hasn't been selling. So it's yeah, it's very very interesting how quickly something's devalued because of the recall. So Specialized, in my opinion, should have done their homework before they release this bike because it's costing them, in my opinion, a lot of money with brand brand damage. Like people are laughing like now when you now, now when I see an S works S or seven, I can't think of like. Like one of the, the guys the other day, um, a local rider, he's sponsored by one of the, gets a, a specialized bike. And I saw him coming out of North Summit, and um, I was just thinking, man, that he's on, is he on an SL7? I'm pretty sure he's on a white SL7. And I couldn't help but think, man, that kid, who's checking that kid's fork? You know what I mean? This is a young guy, 19, 20, superstar riders here in Adelaide. And what happens if he hits a hole and his fork fails? You know what I mean? Like that's, I mean, he might be okay, he might be a jammer, that was, that was lucky. But he could end up in a wheelchair. He could die. You know, he could have a whole facial reconstruction. So instantly when I see an SL7 now, I'm just thinking, like, keep an eye on that thing. I mean, you're probably never going to have a problem with it. All right? You're probably never going to have a problem with it. Most, most people won't have a problem with it. But if you do, it's not the part of your bike that you want to fail on you. Okay, so I think Specialized should put an alloy sleeve, <laughs> drop it down the pro, like the pros get, the pro riders get an alloy sleeve, Bonded inside the fork. I mean, that makes sense. We should be doing that for consumers as well. I mean, but anyway, that's just my opinion based on my experience. And uh, you're welcome to share yours down below.